Dog, episode three, and Magneto's already trying to set a nuke off. 90s cartoons was different, y'all. Damn. I'm back from vacation, y'all, so I got to get this right. All right, y'all ready? What is good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Cole King Cage, and hopefully I can provide you with some level of entertainment today. Now, I know you see the title of the video. I know you see the thumbnail. We about to jump right back into this X-Men episode three. Enter Magneto. Ladies and gentlemen, please make sure you hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the bell for the notifications. Let's get active, y'all. All right, y'all. You hear that theme song? I told y'all I wasn't going to sing it. In order for me to not sing it, I need to just skip it. That's what it seems like. I need to just skip the whole damn thing. All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I know you want to hear my sweet singing voice, but not today. <laughs> Free my boy Beast, bro. A mutant trying to raid. Nah, look at the title. Animal Farm. He's just looking at the pictures. Yo. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, man. That one. Ooh, we call that one a double entendre. <laughs> Oof. I'm trying to figure out why all these guards got this, you know, this real thick southern accent when I'm pretty sure they're in like, I don't know, DC. I wasn't able to see where they're at in this, uh, this part. Who are you guys shooting at, bro? Like, they're just, they're just firing at this point. I'm, I'm starting to think that there's actually no discipline in this unit. Damn, Magneto got these boys that scared. Boy Beast ain't worried. He put his bookmark back in. He was like, ah, here you go, these ignorant motherfuckers. Wolverine. So impulsive. Wolverine ain't doing all that. Yeah, hey man, whenever you see the guns go flying, bro, you already know who up in this thing. Nah, that boy Magneto coming in. Boy know how to make an entrance dog yo man look at this boy magneto bro he's just so imposing man he does then he's so damn buff too it makes me mad i regret however that what are you waiting for my day in court actually professor xavier and i feel xavier charles xavier had you break into the mutant control agency reluctantly i assure you and he would leave you to rot in prison? Not at all. My trial serves a purpose. It shall prove my innocence and the righteousness of our cause. What chance does a mute? That, ah, oh, man. I, I get it. I get it. Professor X wants Beast to go about things the right way. He wants the X-Men to do things the right way in the most, you know, politically safe non-violent way don't even want him breaking out of prison dog like go ahead you do your time we're gonna get you a good lawyer we're gonna have cyclops put on a nice suit we're gonna have storm put on a nice little dress they're gonna represent you we're gonna get you off boom bing bam boom we look good in the media and this boy magneto magneto about to convince me that that's a bad idea right now have tried by normal humans. oh never mind he lost me he lost me as soon as he said mortal humans That is why they fear us. That 
is why I must stand trial. They must see that we are not a threat to mankind, but are a part of it. Let's go, Tommy. That boy Magneto out here just casually blocking tank fire, dog. And see, this is where I messed up as a kid. I always thought Magneto just controlled metal. That is not the case. It's like electromagnetic, a whole bunch of bullshit, which gives him the ability to fly and control force fields and all kinds of stuff, which therefore makes him mad strong. The humans must be crushed, and I have the power. Extra casual dog. That boy Magneto always been cold, dog. Like in every, almost every iteration, Magneto's always done some cold shit. Again, and it ain't, it ain't usually against like one or two people. He do it against the army, bro. That's man. Look, ain't nothing worse than a pissed off Magneto. He gets you out the paint real quick. Ooh, he caught a body. Oh, oh, oh no, I thought this was Saturday morning cartoons, y'all. I worked in a hospital secretly using my mental powers to heal the survivors. A dedicated young aide named Magnus assisted me. Together we help patients rediscover the joy of Yeah, this is this is old school OG fucking Magneto. I grew up with you know, with the you know, the X-Men movies with Hugh Jackman, Patrick Stewart. Ian McKellen, um, James Marsden, and um, Halle Berry. So I grew up with them, and I knew Magneto's Eric Lyncher. I'm not the biggest comic book pro here, but I think original, original Marvel comics, it was like Magnus or Max, something else. I think they still kept in the um, the Holocaust backstory, origin story. I but I I could I think he might have a different name. Somebody in the comments, please correct your boy. Life, we became friends, but for some, a war is never over. Remnants of the army that had so brutally occupied his small country returned, attempting to retake it. We saved what patience we could, revealing for the first time to each other, to anyone. Our hey, look, you saw how you looked out. Oh, you got powers too, fam. Look at mine! Do, 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 do. Long hidden mutant powers. But Magnus. Yeah, see, that's that's the issue with the, uh, you know, animation. What is Professor X doing with his brain that's causing people to fly back like that? Is he telling people, hey man, jump back? Nah, I don't think so neither. Wasn't through. He'd lost his family when those people overran his country. Consumed by rage, he tried to destroy them. I stopped him, but I've never seen such a change in a man. I tried to help him deal with his pain. Magnus, your violence will solve nothing. We must use our special gifts to bring peace to mankind. You're a fool, Charles. Look at them. They can't even make peace with each other. I ain't gonna front with you, bro. And I keep stopping the video. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm back from vacation. I gotta get back used to this. But, uh, <laughs> look, I can't lie. Dog, y'all just revealed your powers to each other. Like literally, what what is this? It looks like it's like eight o'clock at night, bro. Three hours ago, y'all was just getting iced coffees together, and now y'all got rat beef, bro. Like, oh, we just revealed something about each other, and now we have rat beef forever. Damn, it was all good three hours ago. Heaven help us if he was right. Possessing the power of magnetism, he began calling himself Magneto. He and his growing legion of followers attacked power plants, factories, government buildings, determined to disrupt human society, paving the way for mutant takeover. But you stopped him. I did what 
but I could. But now, after all these years, it seems he's begun again. But the move to deny bail. Your Honor, my client is charged with a simple. Is that Angel? This uh, this lawyer dude looks a little too, you know, strong faced with a strong jaw and strong cheekbones with blonde hair that swooped off to the side. And he got some big ass shoulders. I feel like that's Angel. Oh, felony. You're denying him bail just because he's a mutant. Now, Mr. Hodge, you know this court harbors no prejudice. Any insinuation to the contrary will not be tolerated. Your Honor. Yes, Mr. McCoy. May I address the court on the subject of mitigating circumstances? Certainly, Mr. McCoy. I wouldn't want anyone to think we weren't being fair. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor, we mutants yearn only to live in peace with our human brothers. To paraphrase the bard, I am a mutant. Hath not a mutant's senses, affections, fed with the same food, warmed and cooled by the same winter and summer as a human is? If you prick us, do we not bleed? Don't tempt these people, Mr. McCoy. Please get to the point. Certainly. Two days before the incident in the mutant registration office, 11 mutants disappeared, taken... Your Honor, what possible relevance could this have to Mr. McCoy's criminal activities? All were recent registrants with the Mutant Control Agency. Your Honor, the defendant is attempting to justify his crime by attacking a program set up to help mutants. And they throwing tomatoes. I'm sorry, my bad, my bad, because the whole time I'm, it's making me mad. Damn, look how big his back is. I'm trying to, I got to go do some fucking roll, bro. But... Yo, shout out to Beast for trying to spit some facts. I knew the judge wasn't about shit when I saw the fucking frown lines in his forehead. And the fact that this judge ain't got no damn chin, it makes me mad. But yo, man, Beast is on to something. But you know how, you know, the system is always trying to work against the mutant, bro. They're trying to hold us down, Beast. What about the mutant attack on the detention center last night? My brother was one of those guards. Bayless, remove that man. A lot of good men were hurt. Is that your idea of helping mankind? Quiet! Quiet, I say! Now, oh. in view of the violence of both the original offense and last night's attempt at That boy Wolverine just looked like a mutant, bro. Like, just the way he looks, just his, just his face and his hair and those lamb chops. He just, I don't know, man, I just suspect that he's a human. I just, I just... Uh, a human, a mutant. He just, he just got that look to him, like mm, something's off about you. Escape. The uh, court feels this defendant would pose a danger to the community if released. But your honor, bail denied. Okay, now we go break him out. <sighs> Looks like I'll have time to catch up on my Dostoevsky. I'll show him a danger to the community. And then he slapped my boy, bro. That's brutality right there. In the courtroom, where'd the judge go? No, that's an order. Out of my way. Give, give it to him. Never mind. Sabretooth is there to give it to him. Yo, that was a good chair form right there. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. That reminded me like old school WWF. Don't let me catch you slipping because you're going to hold this chair. Let him go. Come on, they're going to kill him. Good. Mm. What? Yo, man. I ain't gonna front which y'all know how like there's a chicken and egg thing who what came first Vegeta or Wolverine because high key high key low key and low key high key Wolverine has been about this fuck him shit like yo that boy said fuck Sabretooth I'm with the liberation and the fair treatment of mutants except for Sabretooth he can die Fine. 
Se look, Cyclops caught a body. Oh man, now he gotta go through the whole backstory with Storm. I thought we already told Storm. I thought the whole point was we're supposed to be in the eyes of Jubilee, cause Jubilee gotta learn everything that's going on with the X-Men. Everything happened so fast. One minute the judge denied Beast's bail, then this strange mutant just went berserk. Is it Dog. Jubilee saw him on the news not too long ago throwing cars around and shit. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, slap some handcuffs on that motherfucker. I don't know if he's crazy. I kind of don't want to find out if he's crazy. If my homeboy, who I've been fighting in all these missions with, is down to let him die, I think it would be in our best interest to at least put handcuffs on him. You gonna be okay, Professor? He seems to have stabilized. I'm glad. Something about him reminds me of Wolverine. His name's Sabretooth. Wolverine knows him and hates him. Did he give a reason? Does he ever? There he is. Why don't you ask him? That boy Wolverine about to catch body, bro. Let's go, Wolverine. Saturday morning cartoons. If it weren't for Xavier. Wolverine. <laughs> that boy Wolverine, bro. He's saying, nah, you're not finna run up our electricity bill, bitch. But you lucky. Xavier's changing me. Wolverine found Christ and now he ain't trying to go back to his old ways where he was murking motherfuckers left and right. Off, slow and easy. I'm taking this maggot out of here. Oof. One way or the other. Uh, maybe we should move him somewhere else. Wolverine, personal vendettas have no place here. You know we must help a mutant if he's in trouble. It's not personal. He's a threat. He was near death. Not near enough. <laughs> now get out of my way. If you take Sabretooth from this infirmary, don't bother coming back. But you don't know him. He can't stay here. That is the way some of us felt about you when you first came. This man's rages seem much like your own. Get out of my way. Sector 37. Magneto. Missile base alert. How can you be sure? Sector 37. I know him. Hurry. Missile All else must alert. wait. Hey, wait up! No, Jubilee, not yet. Magneto's too dangerous. But Professor Xavier! Besides, Sabretooth needs our help. How come we're supposed to trash you? That boy Wolverine is the spiciest five two look five foot two man I've ever seen in my life. But he also has like the most bodies in the Marvel Universe. I think second to Thor. Therefore, leave him alone. Oof. Boy, Wolverine was calling him out, man. You dare oppose me? Your most powerful weapons shall destroy you, and mutants will hide in fear no more. Stop that thing! He's heading for arms control! Mutant liberation. Dog, episode three, and Magneto's already trying to set a nuke off. 90s cartoons was different, y'all. Damn. He was here. I can still smell him. Oh, what a brave new world that has such people in it. Magneto! 
Magneto. I'm glad you decided to join me in the liberation of mutant kind. Today begins a new world for all of us. A world where we needn't hide in corners and crawl in fear. I don't know what corner you crawled out of, bub. But we don't find nuclear missiles all that liberating. Come quietly or be taken. And I hope you want to be taken. Ooh, boy. Wolverine, man, look, he wanted so much smoke. But oh, is this the worst matchup for him? Mm. He about to find out though. This is your last warning. I had hoped Xavier would have realized that his childish quest for peaceful coexistence with humans is hopeless. I suppose that a civil war is your answer. Better that we die on our feet than live on our knees. I cannot move! Tell Xavier I am stronger now. As I healed from our last encounter, I had time to prepare. Tell him those who oppose me are traitors to mutant kind. I will show him no mercy. That boy Magneto said, tell your boss I'm that nigga. And if you dare fuck with me, you will be deemed a traitor and you will be treated as such. <laughs> 90s cartoons, man. This is episode three. If Charles Xavier dreams of peace between human and mutant, his vision will soon become a nightmare. Oh my goodness, Magneto's about to catch X-Men bodies. Wolverine, Storm, are you all right? Uh, like new. Nothing is broken. I should have stopped him when I had the chance. Art. No, Cyclops. Using your optic blast would detonate the warheads. Better here than over a city. Got any other ideas? Yeah. Nick. Yes. I know what I must do. Okay, Storm. Storm. Come do your thing, Storm. Wait, Storm doing what I think she's doing. She about to she about to announce her attack to the warheads, and then she's gonna defeat the warheads. She's gonna blow up those missiles herself. Storm, Storm, answer me. Not now. Storm, I sense your plan of action, but there is no need for self-sacrifice. Professor, I must open your mind. Absorb what Cerebro knows about the missile's computers. Yes. I understand now. You know, I was this close to saying, well, I mean, I, I feel like she didn't need to know how the, the warheads, you know, mechanics worked because, it, you know, she was just going to force them like tornado them to where they would fly in like over an ocean. I think that's pretty cool. You know, that should be good enough right there. Who gives a fuck? Namor? You worried about him? Good work, Storm. Yay, Storm saved the day. Storm. You see, the issue with Wolverine's character is that he gave short dudes hope. Me, over six feet tall, I am uh, <laughs> one of the lucky ones. <laughs> Tee -hee. But that boy Wolverine was 5'2", pulling everything that walks, and we just know that. <laughs> Shout out to my little homies out there in the world. I'm rooting for you, kiddos. She must be our company, Cyclops. She's asleep. She's exhausted. Mission accomplished, buddy. Okay. Let's go home. You've trained your X-Men well, Xavier.
Xavier. They defied me and delayed my war. You and your mutants protect the humans who seek to destroy us. Why? Why have you turned against your own kind? Man, look. Three episodes in and, and Magneto tried to set off a nuclear holocaust. When I tell you, bro, 90s cartoons was different. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that is the end of today's video. I do greatly appreciate you coming through and kicking it with me, especially if you made it this far into the video. Please, on your way out the door, take the time to consider dropping a like, hit the subscribe, hit the bell for the notifications, but above all else, ladies and gentlemen, go forth and do great things, y'all. Peace.